Hey, good morning. How's everybody doing? Welcome to Storytime Adventures. Today's story is about a bear. <laughs> and it's called Bear Snores On. Wait a minute. Grr. I heard bear growl. Did you hear bear growl? Uh, uh oh. Oh my goodness. Hello, bear. You have tape on your face. <laughs> Hello, bear. What are you doing here? Did you come to hear the story? <laughs> oh boy, uh, you seem a little grouchy this morning. <laughs> hmm. Well, it looks like you are feeling a little grouchy this morning. What's the matter? Are you hungry? <laughs> Oh, I see that you've been attacking my feeders out there. Yeah, bird won't be happy about that. No, I won't. <laughs> no, bird won't be happy about that. No, bird feeders. Why are you attacking my bird feeders? Are you eating the seed out of my bird feeders? <laughs> you know, bear, if you just keep growling, I can't understand you. I guess it's a different language. <laughs> oh, poor bear. He isn't feeling very good today. I wonder what's wrong. Hmm. Well, could you draw me a picture of why you're feeling so sad? Well, let's see if bear can draw a picture. Well, let's get a marker for bear. Maybe he'll draw a picture for us. Here you go, bear. Oh, you can't hold the marker? Oh my goodness, that's right. Bear can't hold the marker, he's got paws. Hmm, let's see, what are we gonna do about that? You know, maybe. Here's something for us to try to learn why bear can't hold markers. Look what I got. It's a bear paw, I put it on my hand. It's kind of like, when you think about it, bears can do a lot of things with their paws, but not necessarily hold a marker to draw a picture. So I don't know how I'm gonna understand what's the matter with bear, but maybe if I turned myself into a bear, <laughs> I would figure it out. Okay, so here is some bear ears, and I got bear paws. What else do you think I need? How about, how about some bear fur? What do you think? Yeah, how about some bear fur? Uh-oh, my ears got messed up, just a minute. Okay, so now I have some bear fur, and I have some bear paws, and I have some bear ears that won't stay high. There we go, do I look like a bear? Hmm, what is the matter with Bear? He can't draw me a picture. All he can say is grrrr. Hmm, let's see. I'm starting to understand. He's kind of hungry. It's getting colder outside. Bear, are you about ready to hibernate? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And that's kind of what our story is about today. Bear hibernating and snoring. Here's, here's what I want you to try. If you have to understand bear and how they work, if you have some mittens, I want you to try on <laughs> your mittens and try to draw a picture and see what bear would have tried to do. It's a little harder because you don't have all your paws. <laughs> It's harder to use a marker when you have mittens on. Try that. It's kind of fun. Okay, so bear, hmm, you've been eating all my bird seed. It's time for you to hibernate. It's time for you to go to sleep. Yep. So let's tell the story and see what happens in our story about bear snores on. And it's by a lady named Karma Wilson. So let's turn the 
camera to the storybook. Okay, so let's turn it to the first page. Gotta find it. There we go. Oh, look, it's snowing. Bear wants to hear the story too. There's Bear. Yeah. Bear wants to hear the story too. Maybe he can sit on my lap, right? Yeah. Okay, Bear's going to sit on my lap while we tell the story. Sound good? All right, Bear. Well, what is that over there? Is that a cave? Yes, it is. It's a cave. I wonder. Oh, and there's footprints going to that cave. I wonder if there's a bear like our bear inside that cave. What do you think? Oh, let's find out. We'll turn the page. Bear Snores On by Karma Wilson. Is there a bear in that cave? Let's find out. In a cave, in a wood, in his deep dark lair, through the long cold winter, sleeps a great brown bear. Just like me. <laughs> Okay, cuddled in a heap with his eyes shut tight, he sleeps through the day and he sleeps through the night. Cold winds howl and the night sounds growl, Grrr. but bear snores on. Can you make a snoring sound? Bear can. Maybe that's what you need, Bear. Maybe you need to sleep and hibernate. I think so. An itty bitty mouse, pitter pat tiptoe, crawls in the cave in from the fluff cold snow. There he is. There's that mouse. Mouse squeaks, too damp, too dark. So he lights wheat twigs with a small hot spark. Oh, he started a fire, what? Oh my goodness. The coals pit pop and the wind doesn't stop, but Bear snores on. Yeah, Bear, I think you're getting sleepy. Bear snores on, huh? there he is, the little mouse. Two glowing eyes sneak peek in the den. Mouse cries, who's there? And hair hops in. Ah, I guess I have a, a hair here today. Hair hops in, boing, 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 boing. There's hair, boing, boing, boing. Ho, oh, mouse, says hare, long time no see. So they pop some white popcorn and they brew some black tea. Mouse sips wee slurps. <laughs> hare burps big burps. Uh, how rude. <laughs> but bear snores on. What's gonna happen next? We've got a mouse and we've got a hare. Badger scuttles by and sniffs the air. I smell yummy yums. Perhaps we can share. Oh, what? What is that? It's a badger! Oh my goodness, here comes Badger. <laughs> I've bought honey nuts, says Badger with a grin. Let's divvy them up and cozy down and dig in. So we've got hair and a mouse and a badger and they're gonna share some snacks. Here we go. And they nibble and they munch with a chew and a chomp and a crunch. 
to chunk crunch. But bear. <laughs> snores on. Oh my goodness, he's still sleeping. Two chomp crunch. <laughs> Bear hasn't woken up yet. Oh, wow. Look at that. A gopher and a mole tunnel up through the floor and then Wren and Raven Flutter through the door. Here comes Bird. <laughs> Whoa, they flutter through the door. A bird, a raven, and a wren, and a mole, and a gopher. Look at that. There's the mole. There's the raven. There's the wren. <laughs> Here's the gopher. Mole mutters. What a night! What a storm! Twitters Wren. <laughs> And everybody clutters in the great bear's den. There they all are. There's hair and, and cover and mouse and mole and raven. Oh, Wren's on raven's head. They tweet and they twitter and they chat and they chitter. But bear snores on. <sighs> <laughs> in a cave in the woods, a slumbering bear sleeps through the party in his very own lair. Oh, there's the party. <laughs> Hare stokes the fire, mouse seasons the stew. Then a small speck of pepper makes the bear a chew! Oh my goodness, that is the biggest sneeze. Ha <laughs> He blows and he sneezes and the whole crowd freezes. <laughs> it's a bear. I wonder if bears sometimes eat hares and mouse. <laughs> Probably not a badger though. And bear wakes up. <sighs> I'm awake, I'm awake, I'm awake. Bear wakes up and gnarls and snarls and bear roars and rumbles and bear jumps and stops and bear growls. Oh, bear, you're good at that. <laughs> and he grumbles. There he is. He's grumbling now. You've snuck in my lair and you've had fun. But me, I was sleeping and I've had none. And he whimpers and he moans and he wails and he groans and bear blubbers on. Ooh, you guys had fun without me. <laughs> and mouse squeaks. Don't fret, don't fuss. Look, see, we can pop more popcorn. We can brew more tea. Oh, look at all that popcorn, yay. Bear gulps and gobbles and he sighs with delight. Then he spins tall tails through that blustery night. When the sun peeks up on a clear, crisp dawn, look, there's Bear telling stories. <laughs> and there's a Raven laughing. And there's Badger listening and Hare and Gopher. Where's Mouse? Can you find Mouse? Oh, he's on Bear's foot. Look at that. All right. Oh, so when the sun peeks up on a crisp, clear dawn, Bear can't sleep. <laughs> but his friends snore on. <sighs> There's Bird sleeping. There's Hare sleeping. There's Badger sleeping. Everybody's sleeping. Except me! Now I'm awake! <laughs> and that's the end of our story today. 
Wow, all the animals had a party in the bear den without bear. <laughs> so how about that? So I'm gonna turn the camera back to FaceTime and we're gonna do a craft together. Yep, well, you know, one of the things that you can do if you have a teddy bear to play with at home is you could make a cave for your teddy bear and you know kind of play along with the story so here's a box that's all you need or you could just use a paper bag and one of your blankets and turn it into a snowy cave for bear i just happen to have a white blanket but you can use any color any blanket and there is it just wrap it around your box and now we've made a place for bear to hibernate where's bear Grr, there's bear there's bear he's gonna hibernate and so if you have it do you have a teddy bear you could make him a cave just like in the story <laughs> there you go so we do have a craft today oh you know what i wonder Where's Mouse going to go and where's Rabbit going to go? I think that Mouse might have a hole somewhere in a tree. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> yep, all the animals have to figure out what they're going to do when it gets cold and there's hardly any food around and they have to go to sleep. Some animals, like Bird, fly away <laughs> and migrate. Some of them stay right here. And go to my bird feeders, which I'm going to have to fix, by the way, because bear broke it. <laughs> All right, so today our craft is a lunch bag or a snack bag that's in the shape of a bear. So that's what we're going to make today. And so what you're going to need to do that with is some supplies. You're going to need some markers and scissors, and some paper. Here, let's get that going here. Markers and scissors and paper and a glue stick. That was in my marker basket. So we're gonna make a lunch bag. So say you're gonna have a movie night with your family. You can put popcorn in it, <laughs> or you could take it somewhere if you're going somewhere and have some snacks inside. So what do we need to start with? We need a lunch bag, oh yeah. Here's my little lunch bag. I left it over here. So how am I going to turn that into a bear? Ta-da! We're going to do it. Well, first, did you see the hearts on there? Let's cut out the parts and the pieces. So let's figure out how to make a heart that sticks out. So first I have a piece of red paper, and I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to cut a small heart and if you need to you can draw it first so what I'm going to do is I'm but I've done a whole lot of these so I don't always need to draw them um, I'm going to draw a heart onto my paper so I drew a little half a heart and so when I cut it and I open it on the fold it's gonna be a whole heart let's do that so there there's my lines and I'm gonna cut my heart just like that now if I open it up because I fold it in half what's it gonna look like dun, 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 a heart. okay so now I want two of them because on picture of my sack bag it sticks out, so I want two of them exactly the same. So I'm going to put that on the fold right there and hold it like that, and I'm gonna cut around it. So here we go, I'm gonna cut the exact same shape by cutting around my heart. So now I have two of them. I have two of them, I have one and two. And they both open up and they both are going to look the exact same. <laughs> so I want to stick one on top of the other 
so it'll stick up. Now that's a little bit tricky because you've got to glue the corner of that heart right in the middle there. But I'll get out my glue stick and let's try it and see what happens. Here's my glue stick, here's my heart, and I'm going to put a bunch of glue right in the middle. Just like that. Ta-da! And then I'm going to put my second heart right on my, where I glued it a little bit. But I'm going to pull up the flaps of my heart so it'll stick. It's not doing too well. <laughs> but it will if I don't play with it too much. There, now my heart will open up and have edges that stick up. It's a 3D heart. <laughs> okay, so that's part number one that I'm gonna put on my, my lunch bag. Part number two is, I think, some bear paws to hold the heart. So I have a piece of brown paper, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fold it up See how I'm folding it up at the bottom? It's gonna be bare arms. It's gonna be two of them. So I fold it right here and cut it off right along that crease. And I'm gonna cut right on the fold. Ta -da -da. Oops. Now that's a pretty long bear arm for my bag. I think it's too long, do you think? Let's find out. Oh yeah, they're too long. So I think that I am going to trim them up so they fit on my bag. So first I'm gonna cut the paw shape. Remember what a paw shape looked like? Remember how bear couldn't draw? And hold the marker because his paws weren't like fingers. There. Okay, so my I'm gonna measure so my bear paw can hold the heart. And I'm gonna have to cut maybe half of this paw off. What do you think? Yeah, so I'll do it the same on both. Hold them together and cut about half of them off. Whoops, hold this in. There we go, smaller bear paws. <laughs> there we go. So I have two bear paws to hug the heart. All right, so now I have the heart and I have the paws. What other part do I need? Oh, I think I need a nose, right? Let's do the nose. It looks like it's a circle. So you can draw a circle yourself on a piece of paper. Or if you want to use something like a cup, you can trace it. You can trace your circle onto the paper. And that's what I'm going to do so it looks pretty good. So I'm going to use my cup and I'm going to trace around it. I'll show you what I did in a second. There, I just traced around that cup. And I have a circle. All right, so now I'm going to cut that circle out. Right on the line I just made, just like this. Cut, 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 cut. And as you can see, Bear has a nose and a mouth, so let's make this circle look like that. So I'm going to take my dark marker and make a nose. Here we go. I'm going to make a round nose. Now if you want to, if you have some black construction paper, you can just cut out a smaller circle and put a nose on it. But I just used my marker and I colored, colored, colored. So now I'm gonna make his mouth. Okay, so I'm gonna make a line coming down from the circle and then there's half. <laughs> it's kind of like a J, right? With the circle on top. So I'm gonna do the other side. And it looks like a mouth. There, we got it. Okay, so now we have paws, we have a heart, and we have a mouth. What else do we need? How about some eyes. <laughs> yeah, okay, so now I have some white paper. And let's see, I could cut circles just by hand, but I have 
this glue stick. And I think it's about the size of what I want to trace for the size of eyes. So on my white paper, I'm going to take a pen and trace a circle that's about the size of a bear eye. <laughs> that didn't turn out so good. But I will fix it when I cut. All right, so then I'm folding it in half because I want them to look the same. And that's my little trick. I always cut two at the same time so they're the same shape. And it's almost a circle that I'm cutting. All right, good. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. Two eyes. But eyes have centers. So I'm going to give my bear two brown eyes. So in the middle of my circle, I'm just going to go like that. And then I'm going to make it bigger now because I want it to look really cool. Or, you know, you could also, if you have it at home, you could also use Google eyes. Um, you know, the, the movable Google eyes. There we go. We have bear eyes. So we have a mouth, we have paws, we have eyes. What else do we need? Ears, I think. Yeah, ears. Just like this. No, I need some more brown paper for ears. And again, well, there's the same paper I cut out his mouth. So I just cut off that and I'm going to fold it and I'm going to make some ears. Okay, so ears, let's see what those ears look like. Well, the ears on this page are black and brown, but I think I'm going to just do brown because, you know, Pretty good ears. Okay, so they're half circles, kind of a U shape. And I'm doing it with my scissors, but you can use a marker first. And I cut two of them at the same time. Da, 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 da. Oh, ears! Okay, so now we're gonna put it all together, right? Okay, so what do we put on first? Here's our bag. And make sure, if you're gonna put some snacks in it later, make sure the opening is at the top. There we go. There's our bag. So let's put the ears on. So if you have tape, you can do it. If you have glue stick, you can do it. I'm putting a little glue stick on an ear and gluing it to the edge of my bag, the front edge. There we go. An ear is sticking up. And the second one. Whoopsie. And if you have tape, that might work too. There you go, two bear ears, right? Okay, so how about some bear eyes? Glue, 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 I'm up, oops, that's the wrong side. Bear eyes, take a look, where should I put my bear eyes? Right about there, maybe? Yeah, I think so, good, so I'm putting it on. My other bear eye, oh! <laughs> there we go. And bear eyes. Here's his nose. <laughs> That's gonna look really good. So I'm gonna hold this down on my desk and put a whole bunch of glue on the back side of my bear nose. And stick that on there. Oh, there goes my ears again. There we go. Oh, looking good, right? Now I need a heart and paws. So let's put the paws on with the glue stick. And we're almost done. There we go. And if it doesn't match, you can fold it around the corner of the bag like I'm going to do. There we go. There's a paw. The other paw. Now you can always use your markers and draw claws on these paws. It should be awesome. Okay, whoop. There. Holding it over so it matches the other side. Now I've got a bear with ears, eyes, nose, paws, and because you could give this to somebody with popcorn in it. It's kind of like a little heart saying I love you. So let's put some glue on our little 3D heart. 
<laughs> and stick it right in the middle of those paws. I'm gonna stick my hand inside the bag so I can smush it down so it'll stay. Oh no, my 3D part came off. Now if you have trouble with your 3D part, try some tape, try some staples, just fix it. <laughs> There, it's 3D, <laughs> sort of. So then, of course, I have some popcorn. And you can make a snack for somebody when you have movie night and give them a bear bag. <laughs> so that's our craft for today, and that's our story for today. And we hope you had fun listening. And try some of these things out at home. Have a good day. That's all for now. Come back to Storytime Adventure next time. ever seen before. And here's where you get to make a choice. Was it ah, a giant Tyrannosaurus Rex? And I'm just gonna stick some pine cones in my box and um, then the fun starts. I just start rolling them around. The air rushing out of the balloon is going to push that balloon up. So let's see what happens. All right, one, two, three. Oh, wow. So that's how rockets kind of work. We are going to build two different kinds of rockets today. Work on as fast as you